step is to make one curvy line. The next step is to draw a parallel line to that to the first line that you drew. You're going to want this line to be um, thin, thinner than um, thin and not, not super thick unless you're going for a cartoony look. Near the tail, you're going to want to make it thinner than the rest of the body. That way it looks like it's ending. Now if you have any overlaps, you're going to want to erase that overlap. Like if, if you did a, a little um, loop, you're going to want to erase all the overlaps. To make the head, you're going to want to t continue with this and make a oval. You're going to want the, to make the oval have a point, have more of a pointy end on one side to make it, your sea serpent look more aerodynamic. That way it can go through the water faster. To make the eye of your sea serpent, you're going to do two, two lines. One like this, and the other on the bottom side. Inside those lines, you're going to put like a little triangle. Then what you're going to do is then you're going to give your sea serpent some bits. You can either by you can either do fins by making it look like they're from like dolphin or sea turtle fins, or you can do fins like fish fins, where you do several lines and then you make um, then you do curved lines to connect them. is to make it look like it's curving or um, like twisting. To do this, you're going to want to want to start on this edge of the line, um, on one side of the line, and move your pencil all the way to the other side of the line. What you're going to want to do with this is you're going to want it to make it look like it's attached to both sides and not just um, like straight line across. want to shade them to make them look more realistic. To do that you're going to put some, you're going to like scribble in part of it and then, um, then use your shader to um, make it move it outward. part of it 
like the closest part to the line. Only you're only gonna color it on one side of the line, and and like in one specific area, there's gonna be more. Then with a uh, shader, you're going to um, in circles move outwards. With the fins on your sea serpent, you're also going to want to shade those in. That way they look like they're um, actually either moving or that way they, they look like um, they're real. So if you chose the dolphin fins, then on the one that's in the back, you're going to want to shade in the part that's closest to the sea serpent. The last step is to either add a tail fin or um, a nose to your sea serpent. With the tail fin, you can either make it look like it's um, separate, like little fins, or you can make it look like Toothless's tail from How to Train Your Dragon. And that's how to draw a sea serpent.